In this video, part two of LEDing the Doom Scythe, I'm going to show you how I built the electronics. So stay tuned here on Modeled. Okay, here is a schematic of the Knight Rider circuit. A one option anyways, that's common on the internet. And for those of you who don't know electronics, uh, that's okay, pay attention anyways, because uh, some things will make, make sense and might make you get into it. It's not as hard as it looks, this, this mess here. And for those of you who are experienced in electronics, here is the circuit and I'll explain what I, I'm doing with it. Now basically you need, there's two chips here. There's a timer circuit and a 4017 circuit. It's a, it counts to 10 basically. And this, this chip here is a common chip that's used. And if you're in electronics, you probably have a bunch of these chips because you use them. And what this chip does, it does a couple different things, but one of the things it does is it sends a pulse at a certain time. And depending on it, there's an equation you use, you figure out what these two resistors in this capacitor here dictate how long between each pulse. So every time this sends a pulse, it goes to this chip. And when this chip receives a pulse, it, it sends a current through a different pin. So the first time it receives a, a pulse, it will go to pin zero and this is just a resistor and that's an LED and when it goes to pin zero it's gonna the current's gonna go and light that LED and then this is gonna do another pulse and when this chip receives a second pulse it's it's gonna go to spot one and it's gonna light this LED now that's all it does and then once it gets to the end it goes back to the beginning so so you buy a bunch of these chips they're cheap chips are cheap and uh, so what this circuit does, it's only got six LEDs, one, two, three, four, five, six, but it's got 10 pinouts, it counts to 10. So what this does is uh, he's got it set up in a way that it lights up like this, starts here, lights here, and then as pin, uh, that's pin six, so when it comes, starts to come back, pin six comes back to this one. So instead of lighting a new LED, it lights the previous one so it goes like this that's how we arrange the circuit now for me I'm doing it different um, I got uh, there's eight basic LEDs and I'm gonna add one so nine LEDs and there's only ten things so instead of going back and forth I'm just gonna go uh, like straight across and straight across straight across straight across <clears throat> so that's basically how the circuit looks and now I'll show you I'll show you uh, how it is on the breadboard okay here's the circuit on the breadboard and it's kind of like doing a puzzle you know uh, you got it when you're in electronics you make sure all the components work and it, it all works hooked up on the breadboard first before you want to solder it and put it into the circuit you want to make sure everything works. You don't want to solder it and everything and it doesn't work. And then, oh my god, then you got to desolder it. And... Anyways, one of my goals here is, and modeled is, uh, I'm going to show you some modeling stuff, but uh, one goal is to try to uh, get people into electronics. And maybe when uh, I get, because uh, electronics can help with the hobby, and then uh, people that uh, aren't into it, uh, I don't want them to be afraid of it. It's not too hard. It's that's actually it's fun. If you like building models, it's like electronics. If you like building electronics, it's the same. It's building, right? And um, maybe when I get some more subscribers, I might uh, do little courses on on uh, how electronics works and how to get into it. But for now, I'm just going to show you like uh, um, what I'm building and uh, try to inspire you. And okay, so what I just said with the schematic there, there's my timer there, that chip there, and there's my 4017 chip. If you could see through all that wire mess there, 
there's two chips. Now when you got a chip, um, you always you, you just Google the data sheet for the chip and the data sheet tells you what each pin does. And like one pin is like for the power, for the plus power, one pin for the negative power. And then it tells you this pin for that, this pin for that. And once you know that, it's just a matter of connecting the dots, right? So you do one wire at a time. And here I got my LEDs here. And LEDs need a resistor uh, to limit the current, or else there's too much current and you could blow the LED out, or you could blow the chip out too. So always LEDs and resistors just go to hand in hand. And when you do get an electronics, you need to get a whole set of resistors, all different strengths. So I got my uh, blue LEDs, four, four, and I got a red one. And let me show you what those are for. Okay, you see on the edges here, you got these little things here. Now, instead of those little things, which go here, one, two, three, four on each side. So those, I'm putting an LED in there and four on this side. Now, I wanted, I got it, actually got 10 LEDs, but I don't need 10 because it's 10 on the chip, right? So this thing right here, that goes there, right? So I'm going to put the red LED in there. So it's going to go four red four and four red four. That's how it's going to work. And this thing has kind of got lots of room in here to put the circuit. So it's going to work good. Okay, now on the, the breadboard, I got the power supply I'm going to use. It's two watch batteries here. For, uh, so that's six volts. And here's the plus. Here's the minus. Minus is already hooked up on this side. So the breadboard, these lines go all the way down. So I have the wire there, and that's connected all the way down. And on these, these set parts of the breadboard, the wire's connected this way. Whereas on this side, it's connected this way. So now I'm going to put the positive and the positive side. And that's how the circuit's going to run. One, two, three, four. The little red there in the center, which you can't see too well. So bright. Now just imagine that <clears throat> with this angle. Should look pretty cool, eh? So this is my first uh, Necron piece with a more of an advanced circuit instead of just basic resistors and LEDs. Okay, we got that part figured out. Now there's two Tesla guns on there and we want to LED them too. And they're going to be part of the same power supply, the same circuit. So now we got to add two more LEDs. Uh, these are going to be those blinking ones to this circuit. Okay, now I just easily did that. What I did is I just added uh, zoom in on that. I just added resistor, LED, resistor, LED, and I put it, there's two different things, the way to hook it up in the circuit is parallel and in series. Parallel, you're, you're keeping the voltage the same across everything, and series is different, it reduces the voltage, so if you want to keep the voltage of this battery across everything the same, you have to hook it up in parallel. And so all I did was added two blinking LEDs and two resistors, one for each one. And let's turn that on. And there we go. The two Teslas and the Knight Rider part. Okay, here's the death ray now, the final piece. And I decided that I'm not going to make a separate battery pack and put a switch in here now because I'm looking at I don't have any components that are that small. Or batteries to fit in there 
So I'm decided I'm going to connect this to the, the Doom Scythe and uh, have it all one piece and unchangeable. So it's going to be a Doom Scythe. And so for deciding what LEDs I wanted, I think I'm going to put an LED here on each side. So that's like a bigger LED. And then these two things here, I'm going to put uh, smaller LEDs in there and then put a blinking LED at the top. So we got a total of two, four, six, seven LEDs just for this one gun. And here's the circuit for it. And if you look at the, the whole circuit, we got like uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I get ten there? Eight, nine, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, ten, eleven, twelve. And here's the death ray right here. Uh, 14, 16, so 18 LEDs, or 19 LEDs. And you're wondering, like, how the hell is, like, that battery going to power all 19 LEDs? Well, you have to do it in parallel. So these are all in parallel. The voltage goes across the top of all here. And then I'm bringing the positive to this gun here. So my idea is uh, the gun's coming in here, so I'm going to probably bring the gun in the back, or the wires in the back. So this positive is going to come out the bottom of the, and this negative here is going to come out the bottom. So let's, I'll zoom in on the gun here, two LEDs for each side, zoom out a bit here, and I'll power it up, let me turn off the light here, a little darker, so it's like an orangey LED, two reds, and two yellows, which can't, let me turn off the last light here, And this blinking one is causing all these other ones to blink. Because these ones here aren't blinking. But this blinking LED is causing them all. So that's the death ray gun. And to look at the whole circuit. Now, that's the completed circuit. Now the hard part is to um, try to fit this in the model. That's the hardest part. Electronics, the hardest part is building the case and soldering and trying to shrink it and fit it in. So, but uh, first, before I do this, I want to find out how long, how much power this circuit's actually draining. Because I could make the power, I could lower the power by increasing the value of the resistors, but that also dims the LEDs too. So you want to try and make a common ground. Like this is a, this is going to take more. I'm guessing this is going to take a lot more power than, than those. Obviously, it's going to take more power than those um, my warriors and stuff like that. So I'm getting like a uh, hundred hours out of those things. Let's see. So I'm going to measure the current, and I'm going to actually measure the current of the gun, and the current of the whole thing and see what it is. I'll do that next. Okay, I have it set up to measure the current in the death ray gun. And uh, to do that, see how, here's the power that comes into this gun. So I bring that into the positive of this, and I bring the negative of this out into the positive of the circuit. So the current goes through the multimeter and into here. And I set this on milliamps setting. And now we can see how many milliamps this thing is trying. So we'll plug it in. See, we're drawing five milliamps. 
which is more, it's twice as much as my Warrior. My Warriors draw about two milliamps. So just that gun alone is drawing five. Now, I don't know if I want to keep that, because if I put a resistor, those LEDs are going to get dimmer if I strengthen that resistor. So, but I'll, I'll you know, I'll double the resistor just to, just to show you. Okay, the first one was a 200 ohm resistor, right there. And now I put a 550 ohm resistor in. You see, like, we're getting now half of that. 2.5 to 3. Now, I'm going to try a higher resistor and see what that does. Okay, this is a 1,000 ohm resistor. I got, I'll go on the other side to get a shot of here. You can see it easier, too. So you could actually do the math on this too. There's equations for this. Or if you don't want to do the equations, you could just experiment like this, what I'm doing now. Or it's a good idea to do both. Do the math to get a general idea to what you need and then experiment like this to see exactly what it's trying. So, so we're going to 2.3 well, now it's at 2, 1.8 to 2.34. And does that look bright enough? Look, it's kind of dimmer. So should I go with the 1, 1,000 ohm resistor? Or the 600? They're definitely not the 200. It's drawing like 6 milliamps. So that's only drawing 2 milliamps. So I still don't know what this side's drawing. Hmm. Let me think. These LEDs seem fine. These ones seem kind of dim. Maybe it's just the LEDs. Okay, maybe I'll just, uh, yeah. I think I'll keep the 1000 ohm resistor. And let it go at 2 milliamps. Okay, now let's see what the whole circuit draws. And then we could subtract this and we'll, this side will be, find out what this side is drawing. Okay, now I got uh, I got it hooked up. Uh, the positive goes into the multimeter, and then comes out the multimeter into here. So now this is the whole circuit. So we're drawing like ten milliamps. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, these uh, have a capacity. Uh, these um, 250 milliamps. So at 10 milliamps, that's such that it should be 25 hours that this should run. Maybe, you know, average of like three hours a game. So you're looking at eight games you would get out of this thing. Probably more because you'd be you wouldn't, you wouldn't be on the table the whole time. So at least 10 games. And that's okay because you're not going to have too many of these models anyways. And I think I can't remember what my Satan was. I think it was like seven milliamps. I don't know. But anyways, that's how you uh, figure out how much power and your circuit's using and how long the battery's going to last. And you want to design it with with resistors to uh, make it last a reasonable amount of time while maintaining the brightness of the LEDs at the same time. So that's pretty good. Actually I'm probably happy that nine it's actually nine milliamps now. Nine milliamps for the doom site. Okay, so that's the end of the, the building the electronics and figuring the electronics part of the video. And the next video is building the circuit, soldering, putting it together, and putting in the model. So stay tuned for that one. It'll be coming out within a few weeks. Enjoy. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more. There's going to be a lot more to come. I'm dedicated to this channel. And see you later. Bye.